Okay, go ahead. Okay. My name is Todd Leak. I uh, farm with my brother near uh, Amarillo, North Dakota, and we grow wheat and soybeans. And uh, my father was a farmer, my grandfather was a farmer, my great-grandfather, my great-great-grandfather, you get the idea. It goes back forever. For just about everybody who was a farmer, that's the same story. And the crops that we grow are the basis of our civilization from when it started. And so if anything belongs in the public domain, if anything belongs to the people of the world, it's the crops we grow for food. In 2000, in 2000 Monsanto Corporation tried to patent wheat, and after a five-year-long battle, we stopped them. And what happened... What about, what about corn and soybeans, canola and cotton? Uh, they claim that they own them. These, these crops go back as far as wheat. They're the basis of civilization. And how can they claim to own them? They did it from a, from a legal standpoint from a U.S. Uh, patent office. Well, that's not right. And we've got to turn that back. And that's what's got to be mentioned. By tomorrow, we have to tell them that basically what the issue is, is we, through the, through the consolidation of the seed industry and through the patent system, they claim they own it. We want to go back to the Plant Variety Protection Act. Farmers can reproduce their own seed. Go back to what's right and what's real. Right. I'm Jerry Harvey. I'm a Southern Iowa dairy farmer, family dairy farmer. Perfect. Um, I'm here with some friends of mine from southern Iowa and different parts of Iowa that are dairy farmers. Um, what turned out to be the American dream has been the American nightmare in the last 15 months. I've been in contact with Mr. Harkin's office, Mr. Grassley, Mr. Boswell's office, Farm Aid, Food for Democracy Now. Um, you know, we're, we're not supposed to ask why, but I'm to the point now why. There, there's nothing else left in us. The fight's gone. Um, we haven't even had made enough money to even pay our feed costs in the last 15 months. We've borrowed up five to six thousand dollars a month, and uh, my kids that work with me, you know, they're going to be gone too because we just can't keep going like this. We've been told by the USDA that we're overproducing. Over 300,000 cows have been slaughtered last year, and all I'd like to know is the truth. You know, if if it's overproduction, it's not coming from us family farmers. It's not coming from us that have cut back on our feed costs and have worked hard. My grandpa, my dad, my great-grandpa, your great-grandpas have worked hard. This country was built on sweat, blood, tears from them, and the hard work from American farmers. And it, and it was built on the backbone of American farmers, not factory farmers. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Good evening, folks. I'm Harvey Howington. I grow rice in Arkansas. Uh, I came up here to warn you guys about Big Ag. Uh, it like we already know about it. No. Uh, you know, we have the same problems with, uh, with the seed companies you do. We've had big problems with the co-ops in our part of the world. Uh, you know, they want to squeeze us for on our inputs. They want to squeeze us for every dollar they can get out of us. And for the crops we produce, they want to buy them dirt cheap. Uh, it's bad for the economy of the United States. It's bad for the rural economy. Uh, people don't understand the United States economy is still a rural economy. Uh, there's no other business that exports like we do, like ag, ag does. There's no other business <coughs> in, uh, in the United States that exports things like we do. The utility patents, of course, are, are the things that, uh, how can you uh, do life? How can you get a patent on life? We need to get rid of those. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming all the way up here to let us know that it's this way everywhere. Hi, I'm Joel Greeno, uh, dairy farmer, Kendall, Wisconsin, national president. National president of the American Raw Milk Producers Pricing Association, yeah. founder of Scenic Central Milk Producers, and I'm here tonight to be a voice for the voiceless. My parents' 29th wedding anniversary was a farm foreclosure, their 30th anniversary, a 
a sheriff's auction on the courthouse steps. For the New York State dairy farmer that mid-January went in his barn, shot 51 cows, and then himself. For my neighbor that's farm was stolen from him, that was owned since 1942 by his family, came to ask how to get food stamps because he'd always lived off his farm, no longer had that, and said that his social security of $9,000 a year couldn't feed him. This has got to end. Washington has got to step up. DOJ is our only lifeboat. They have to fix this. They have to correct it. Monsanto does not have the right to dictate the value of my life, my work, and the food I produce. Kraft Foods does not have the right to set the price of my milk, which they do without question. Thanks. Hi, everybody. My name is Larry Dinner. I'm a family farmer. I live up near Marshall County. I'm a member of Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement. I want to talk about power. People power. We are in a pitch battle. Labor, family farms, democratic rights are in a pitch battle against the dictatorship of capital. That's what we're talking about. Capital is running dictatorship over the people. We got to understand that this is an international struggle. Those Mexican workers coming up here are family farmers. Those Sudan workers working in the packing plants are family farmers and workers being driven off by big dictatorship of capital. We have to understand that, that we are not alone in America. That Mexican farmers and Mexican workers, unions are being broken in the United States, union battles down there in Mexico, people are being killed down there. We have got the power as people. Uh, industry can't turn uh, uh, one wheel unless people walk into that building and start to make, make those machines work. Nothing can happen on the farms unless farmers turn the wheel and plow the ground and plant the seed. We have the power here and we need to understand what that power means. When we understand that, capital will tremble. But it won't be an easy, it'll be a bloody fight when they finally figure it out.